To millions of fans across the globe, the Spanish lyrics by One Star have helped them heal from heartbreak and loss. Tonight, 101 with Bronx born singer Romeo Santos, whose trailblazing moves are redefining what it means to sing from the heart. Here's ABC's Stephanie Ramos. 60,000 fans packed into one stadium. Here for one of the biggest names in music. Romeo Santos. He may not be on your playlist, but Santos is an American pop icon who's redefined the music industry by sticking to his roots and only singing in Spanish. Did you ever think you wanted to sing in English or you knew that, hey, I'm going to sing in Spanish? Yeah, I knew from day one that, you know, bachata was my thing and that I was going to definitely mainly sing in Spanish. The 38-year-old, one of the highest paid musicians of 2018, making more money than Keith Urban and fellow Latinx musician J-Lo. What goes through your mind knowing that there are tens of thousands of people? It's a crazy adrenaline. It's a huge responsibility, and it doesn't matter the amount. Like, it can be 80,000, and it can be a 1,000 people. Like, I just want to give my best show. Yeah, I want people to leave this event feeling like this is one of the best experiences I've, you know, I've ever witness each concert a star-studded event tonight bringing one of his biggest fans on stage cardi b so for you to fill out a, a stadium that's a big deal like if i was to fill out a stadium maybe one day i will that will be the day that i cry that'll be the day that i'll be like yeah yeah <laughs> What's what up? Yeah, I can't talk to me today. <laughs> yeah, but did you fill out a, a, a stadium though? Oh no. Okay, man, go home. <laughs> go take a nap. At a time when artists are increasingly collaborating across cultures, like Bad Bunny and Drake's Mia, <laughs> and DJ Snakes and Osuna's Taki Taki. <laughs> He's worked with stars like Usher years before it was trendy and instead brings English language artists into his genre. Talk a little bit about the your studio here. You said it kind of has, has the castle design. Mm -hmm. What was the thought process behind that? I've been proclaiming myself the king of bachata for a few years now, so I figured, hey, let's name this the castle and kind of go with that concept. This is the scene I was talking about? Yeah. Santos, over the years, defining his own career on his terms. Sometimes Latin artists who sing in Spanish still struggle to be given the same platform as the ones that sing in English. Why do you think that is here in the U.S. when Latinos are a big part of this country? When I started doing music, it was a lot worse. Like, they would not under no circumstances program, a Latin record. That's definitely changing. When you're talking about Romeo Santos, we're talking about probably one of the 10 best singers working in all American pop right now. Ultimately, revolutionizing and modernizing the genre of bachata by turning to his heritage. It's a style of music originating from the Dominican Republic. Most of the lyrics deeply romantic and nostalgic. The Dominican community in New York really embraced bachata, always. Uh, and what happened in the early 2000s is some young people decided they wanted to update the music. Santos, together with his cousin and friends, formed a band called Aventura and brought a fresh urban appeal to the genre. When Aventura came out, it sounded like nothing else. And basically fundamentally altered the course of what bachata sounded like, but also what American pop music broadly construed could embrace. We kind of like, you know, changed the sound of bachata because we had the sounds from here. We grew up listening to rock music, 
hip hop, so we would throw hip hop beats in the bachata, like a lot of fusions. By the age of 21, after years of writing music and performing wherever they could, they landed their first hit with Obsession. That's just the swag that we have when we're together that, I don't want to sound corny and all, but it's like we're like the Power Rangers together, you know? <laughs> after a decade of worldwide success, Santos launched a solo career, but this time in an era where Latin music is more popular than EDM or country music right here in the U.S. When we think of crossover, we're thinking of a 90s concept. We're thinking of a 2000s concept. In 2019, moving into the 2020s with the seamlessness of social media, crossing over is an outdated concept. According to Spotify, their Viva Latino playlist is growing five times faster than any other playlist in their top 1,000. Look at the generation of stars we have now. Look at Bad Bunny. Look at J Balvin. Look at Ozuna. These aren't people who are that concerned with speaking English. At first, they didn't get it. And when I say they didn't get it, I'm not speaking about the fans, but just like the industry. Like it was very difficult to program a, a bachata um, tune in Anglo radio stations. That's not the case now. Like, you, you know, you hear songs like Cardi B and Bad Bunny's I Like It in, in, in Anglo radio. He's sold out Madison Square Garden and Yankee Stadium twice, joining the ranks of Madonna and Sir Paul McCartney. And now, MetLife Stadium, one of the largest stadiums in the country. The fact that Romeo can sell out all these venues should tell you something. It should tell you not that this is a flash in the pan, not that this is cheesy lowbrow music. It should tell you that this is music that has power, devoted fan base, and isn't going anywhere. I think I'm very lucky to have so many fans that love me and support me, and especially, you know, after so many years, I've been doing this for nearly 23 years. This is one of my only concerts so far that I was also enjoying the performance because they're, I'm just chilling like in, in the stage just listening to estas leyendas, you know, estos iconos that inspired me. So it was, it was beautiful and I felt that. And for those of you wondering whether you're late to the Romeo Santos fan club. Oh, you gotta get put on Romeo Santos. I'm I'm just saying, just like, <laughs> that I'm works. to give you bloopers. For Nightline, I'm Stephanie Ramos. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.